back. A new report on the Green Line Extension Project shows there's one thing the project has in common with the big dig. This morning, our John Keller looks at why that should be a cause for concern. Good morning. Some really bad memories came flooding back yesterday as I read about the findings of a consultant hired by the MBTA to find out why the Green Line extension to Somerville and Medford is running up to a billion dollars over budget. According to the report, profoundly inept T officials apparently never bothered to figure out how much the project would cost, instead outsourcing control to a construction consortium named White Skanska Kiewit. Under a process that allows the price tag to be negotiated as the project is underway, placing cost control essentially at the whim of the contractor. This was spun as an innovative process, although it must seem like sheer nonsense to any non-fool who has ever hired a contractor and knows you at least agree on an estimate up front. Something about the name Kiwit rang a bell with me, so I did what the MBTA brass should have done at the start of this fiasco. I googled them. Guess which previous local transit project Kiwit was associated with? That's right, the Big Dig. Back in 2002, Kiwit and their Big Dig partners settled a whistleblower lawsuit alleging that they, quote, knowingly overcharged the project and engaged in, quoting again, rampant billing fraud, dangerous or shoddy tunnel work, and covering up flaws through intimidation and threats, end quote. But here they are again, back in business in a state with an appalling record of being taken for a ride by this kind of thing, from the Big Dig to the health care connector debacle of recent years. As the Baker administration tries to salvage this mess, I hope they'll be candid about the idiocies of the past and diligent about avoiding them in the future, because we're all running out of patience and money. Share your thoughts on this with me at Keller at WBZTV.com or via Twitter at Keller at Large.